Welcome to the final Disneyland Paris vlog. This morning we've been packing our stuff, we're leaving today, uh, but we do have some time in the parks this morning, so we're gonna be going and seeing the parade that we haven't done yet. We're also gonna be doing a few more attractions, having a wander around Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. We haven't even made it back there yet, have we? No, not yet. No. So we're gonna go and do that now and um, probably grab a coffee on the way. I do need a coffee. They do have a machine in the room here and um, we've been having like a strong kind of wake up coffee because we are feeling the pace. We've had um, a long couple of days. If you didn't watch the last vlog, I will link it in the description. Um, that was quite a long day, but it was such a good day. We did the new Power of the Night drone show, which was brand new, really, really good. And yeah, it was just, it was just a great day. Great, great day. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pack up our stuff, take it downstairs, there's somewhere where we can store our luggage and then head off into the park. And um, we're gonna be going back by Eurostar later and I think um, that's probably just after lunch, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got to get a coach from here to the station and then um, we'll get home this evening. But I'm gonna take you guys with us with everything that we're doing, show you a bit more of the parks this morning. So let's get going. Just doing the classic room sweep to make sure nothing has been left. We talked about this in Florida. It's like the obsessive checking to make sure you haven't left anything, even in places that you know you haven't put anything down, but yeah, you but still- Yeah, that's, that's the place where you don't look. Yeah, so. you still have to look everywhere. So we're just in Starbucks grabbing the necessary caffeine before we get going. And um, they have some really good breakfast stuff in here. If you're not having breakfast at the hotel, they have like nice donuts, they've got pancakes and this brioche that you can get, muffins and stuff. Okay, here we are and the weather is absolutely beautiful this morning. I have forgotten my sunglasses, obviously, on the one day that it's actually sunny. Can't believe I've done that. Yeah, Be Becky actually has hers, but no, I don't. I mean, something like that had to happen this trip, you know me. And I did speak to someone, this hotel is under a full refurbishment and um, they're gonna be doing princess rooms, so they're having a re-theme. I think it'll be amazing when it reopens. And obviously when it does, if we come back, we'll take a good look around to show you guys. But it's so beautiful. I love when parks have a hotel that kind of yeah, is in the park. Um, Tokyo has the same thing, they have one like that. And one thing we haven't gotten around to is going on the railroad. I don't know if it's actually running, is it? I haven't seen... I think it is. Is it? Oh, I'm, I miss the one at Disney World so much. It's been closed so long, but I believe it's now reopened or it's about to. I think it has. It, maybe they were testing it, but I think it's not, not gonna be long until it's reopened. And I really, really do wanna do that. We've just checked and the one here is closed, unfortunately, as well, so. Oh, I've seen it moving. I must have drunk <laughs> Becky's, maybe that was when like late at night and you were delirious or something. You thought you saw it moving. No railroad. coming from it. Maybe it had like maybe, fake yeah. steam I'm coming sure from it. I'm sure there was steam coming from it, but that, you know. Are you sure it wasn't just where you were breathing? <laughs> And you're like, oh, I can see steam. No, that's just me. <laughs> and here we are on Main Street. It's so beautiful. While it's not too crazy, let me just show you the whole way around. If you love that kind of Main Street feeling first thing in the morning, this park definitely has that. One thing I noticed last time and have noticed again, just to kind of take note of, there's not a lot of photo pass photographers around. It's not really something that I've seen. They do have them for character meet and greets and stuff. But here on Main Street, for example, it's first thing in the morning. There's not really anyone here taking photos. So just be prepared to take your own or you can always ask someone. People always will take a photo for you. I've never had anyone be annoyed at me asking to take a photo. But yeah, they don't seem to be photo pass photographers kind of around the hub or the castle. Oh, I've still got Becky's sunglasses on. <laughs> we just had um, a photo taken by the hub and because it's morning, um, it's so bright and I can't take a photo with the sun in my eyes without doing like crazy, like squinting <laughs> face. Becky can somehow do it, it's I right. can't do I'm, it. Well, my, I do a squinting <laughs> face, whatever happens. Oh, okay, right. there we go. Um, and we just had, there was a really fun group there who were taking photos and I think they were doing like TikToks and stuff like that. Um, so they took some really nice pictures for us, which was great. And now we're going to head into, it's not called Tomorrowland, I keep calling it that. It's called something different here, which I want to say, 
discovery, no, I can't remember from last time, but I know it's not Tomorrowland because we kept calling it that and it was incorrect. All of you Disneyland Paris, like massive mega fans are gonna be, what are you doing? What are you saying? Discover Discovery Island. Discoveryland. 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 Discoveryland Fantasyland. Discoveryland, we've got it. So it's not Tomorrowland, it's Discoveryland. So we're gonna take a look around here and then head around into Fantasyland. But this is definitely the same kind of area like the Tomorrowland, you know, kind of futuristic vibe that they have going yeah. on. And I love this, this looks so nice. And I have to say their Space Mountain from the outside looks so good. I do prefer this one, it looks amazing. It's called Hyperspace Mountain here and it's a bit more, I don't know what the word is, the one in Disney World, I do find intense from the point of view that it's kind of, it shakes you around quite a bit. This one goes upside down, so you do have a harness on. Becky and I did ride it last time we were here and Becky came off feeling very sick, didn't you? It was Initially I came off feeling fine. Within about five minutes, it hit me. Yeah, you do get the motion sickness though, so I think we're gonna give this one a miss, but if you wanna see the vlog where we did it last time, we'll link it below. And I love that building over there. We went for coffee and breakfast yeah, there, did. I think, yeah. last time. It's just the outside of everything looks very cool yeah. here. And right in front of us here is their version of the Astro Orbiter kind of thing. And I love that it's gold. That looks great. Yeah, it really is. And here, I don't know how well you can see it because it's early morning, so the lighting is still not great. They have Autopia, which I think is kind of like Tomorrowland Speedway. Similar kind of thing. And just to show you how cold it is here at Disneyland Paris, the car is frosty. It's like in the morning when you go to get in your car and it takes forever to kind of scrape all the ice off. They're having the same problem here. I wonder if the roads are icy and hazardous as well. I can hear someone coming. There we go. Hopefully they've gritted the roads. <laughs> and over here we have the Nautilus, which we did do last time. And you can actually go on and it's kind of like something you can walk through basically. And because it was so cold last time, it was really warm in there and we were just living our best lives, weren't we? It was, honestly, it was like a dream. We kind of went inside to have a look, but this looks amazing. And if you're ever in Disney World and you go to Trader Sam's at the Polynesian, they have a drink called the Nautilus and it comes in like a souvenir cup that looks exactly like that doesn't it it's a crazy drink it's a really strong drink but it is really good and it's currently 9 47 just to let you guys know the um, wait time for hyperspace mountain is 25 minutes and that's on a sunday so just to give you that idea and the single rider is 10 minutes so if you don't mind doing single rider you can get on a lot of rides a lot quicker and buzz has a 10 minute wait here we're not going to do that today because we have done it um, obviously here before but also done that at Walt Disney World. We're trying to um, do Big Thunder Mountain today because that is so good here in Paris. Yeah, it is slightly different to the one in Disney World. And we might do a couple of other things as we're going around, but we really just wanted to show you guys the kind of general overview of the park as we're walking around. And we were just saying as we're walking into Adventureland, we just love this big kind of Adventureland archway as you walk in. Really, really like that. And if you look up as you're walking under, got really nice lighting and stuff. Just really great theming. As we all say, and look at this bench. <laughs> Love that. And if you do happen to be here in cold weather, we did this last time, we're not gonna do it today just because we're short on time, but they have this little Aladdin exhibit, I guess you would call it, where you can walk through, but the heating is always really nice in there. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a little respite from the cold, that's a good place to go. And just in case anyone's wondering how we've ended up here, rather than Fantasyland, which is where we said we were going, we couldn't actually walk the direct route through to Fantasyland. There were some cast members there saying we had to come around. So we're just gonna do it this way and come into Fantasyland from the other end instead. Sometimes they do that. I don't know if the area isn't fully open yet or there's something going on, but sometimes you do have to kind of divert and go a different way so we've got a plan of action it's always good to have a plan of action even if you just figure it out as you're going along we're gonna ride pirates now that we're in this general area then we're gonna head through fantasy land and just take a look at stuff head back round to the hub then it should be time for the parade which I'm really excited to see yeah it does sound good and as we're going past I just have to show you the huge pirate ship here I love this so much and this is a great photo op with the ship and the kind of skull rock over there Hey, here we go. And I'm always excited to do a different Pirates to the one that I'm used to. And I remember this one from last time. It was really good.
That was amazing, we love pirates. And just as you exit, by the way, there is a restaurant here. So it's called Captain Jack's. It's kind of a bit hidden away. So if you're looking for dining options, there is that. Um, Peter Pan's flight is 40 minutes. So that's a little bit less than it would probably be at Disney World. We would have done that today, but we are gonna run out of time, unfortunately. And here we have Toad Hall. I was really hoping to be able to show you guys inside, but I don't think it's open. Let's just take a look. And this is a restaurant, by the way. So they have fish and chips. They have a vegan, um, like breaded vegan fish, I guess, or faux fish. What do you even call it? You guys know what I mean. And I guess you can just get fries and it looks like they do have a salad as well. Becky has checked, we can't get in. That is so disappointing. And one thing I do love here in Paris is the Alice in Wonderland kind of area. Really nice. It's amazing, yeah, they got the Curious Labyrinth. And if you want to see inside of this, we did do it last time. So you've got the Cheshire Cat. This is basically a hedge maze which we got lost in I will say um, so if you want to watch that vlog I will link it below we don't have time to do it today but yeah it can actually be a little bit confusing in there and they have really good crepes here at the March Hare kind of little kiosk this is very very cute oh no it's ice cream now but you can get crepes obviously here in various places it definitely was crepes I remember having one but we do have lunch over in the Avengers campus area and we're going to the other restaurant which is called Stark Factory so we're getting lunch there so we're gonna do this parade and then right Big Thunder Mountain and then we are going to go across to the other part and you can just see Small World over there and it's one that has an amazing outside similar to Tokyo the light is a little bit shiny at the moment I think it's completely down for refurbishment looking at these walls around the edge and another dining option that is here back in Fantasyland is Pizzeria Bella Notte Bella Notte? Bella Notte, Bella Notte. I did not pronounce that right and it looks like they have pizza and lasagna and pasta and stuff tramp meatballs oh you could meet up with your loved one in the middle you could i always feel like that would be a lot messier <laughs> than the idea yeah. of it but you could do that if you wanted the photo opportunity but do it at your own risk of getting <laughs> pasta sauce all over yourselves okay we're in position for the parade and we were just noticing can you see in the distance the balloon is up over at disney village <laughs> I love the music here at Disneyland Paris. It's amazing. Yeah, you have you have to dance. That parade was amazing. I love that. It's not kind of your traditional parade where it just goes along. You've got people like dancing in between. It's so fun. The music, as you can hear, is amazing. And we have just about got time for the wildest ride in the wilderness. Before we go, we're cutting it a bit close because we do have to get to this lunch over at the other park, but we have to do it. And we are going to talk a bit more about the premier access. We'll do that a bit later on this afternoon. Gosh, that was I love so that good. Ride. It is amazing. It, I think it is my favourite thing here. It's just, yeah. it's a little bit longer, and the bit at the end, you go through like a dark kind of tunnel. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. Oh, that was like right in my ear. <laughs> oh my word. Um, it's so good. 
good, amazing. I definitely do Big Thunder Mountain here, it's just great. Love this music, but we're gonna have it in our head forevermore. You just have to dance as soon as you yeah, hear you it. it. You can't help it. Okay, we are about to exit. So this is gonna be it for Disneyland Park on this trip. We're just going over to Walt Disney Studios, so it's not quite over yet, but it's been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. The we sun's out. Beautiful. It is, yeah, it's so nice that the last day we've got some sun and uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed Disneyland Park. We're going to try and come back because on these trips we just don't get enough time to do everything. So we didn't do all of the rides but we had lots of other things going on. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I was going to say in our previous vlogs we did do probably more of the rides than we Maybe, have on this yeah. trip. So I'll link those in the description below. That was 2019 that we did that but just be prepared for the cold is all I'll say. <laughs> it feels like it's, it feels like Florida. This feels compared. like amazing, yeah, this feels like so warm. So last look here at Main Street. It's always my favourite part of the park, so I just love this. I'm just admiring the artwork on the construction walls on the way out. That Phantom Manor looks amazing and they've kind of got it in the colour scheme for the 30th, so the kind of pinks, blues, purples. Love that. I would actually have that up in as yep, like an artwork really in my house. Nice. And they also have a pirates one too. And while we're walking over, I just thought we would mention about the premier access. So on this trip, we were given the premier kind of, if you think of lightning lane for Disney World, similar thing here. And we were very kindly gifted that, which has been amazing, hasn't it? It's meant that we've yeah. been able to get on some of the rides quicker. So they have um, what would be equivalent to the lightning lane return times in Disney World, where you just pay per ride. And I think that ranges anything from like five up to 20 euros or something yeah. like that. That. and then you can buy one which is for all day and then you can ride each attraction once and that one does range quite a lot in price so it starts from around 100 euros I think something like that and then goes up um, varying by season so in the height of summer and Christmas and stuff I would imagine it would be at the top end um, so it's kind of like a hundred euro plus um, depending on the time of year and that would get you onto the premium access for one time per day for each ride and if you have a park to park ticket and you got it on that day I believe it's the same as Walt Disney World where you could go into both parks and do it yeah that's what it seemed to be so I think that would be really really good if you could do both parks in one day and do like a long day like start in the morning go all the way and then you should be able to get on but we've got on everything quite quickly yeah the wait times yeah. haven't been bad to be honest yeah so even with the premium access that doesn't necessarily mean you get straight onto the ride sometimes it's like five minutes other times we've had like maybe 10 or 15 yeah. but nothing more than that um, and sometimes the ride waits have been like we've seen 60 70 80 minutes but to be honest if you come to the parks in the morning that is the best time to ride the rides that like this morning when we we're walking around everything was fairly low so big advice is get here early and do your rides and during parades as well if there's any parades or fireworks shows that would be the time to get on rides as well with a low wait time and we're in so we're very excited for lunch a new restaurant that we've never tried before and maybe when we're on our way there we might see some marvel characters you never know they do seem to pop up randomly and speaking of characters popping up we've got mr incredible there on it's actually not a segway but i'm gonna call it a segway it's his version of a segway And speaking of characters, here's Doctor Strange as well. Very, very good. And this is the rest of the kind of Avengers Campus area that we didn't get to see the other day. This is the other attraction, um, Flight Force, I believe it's called. We're not going to have time to do that. I would have been a little bit scared anyway. Becky I, was going to do it. I would have done it. I would have yeah. Worked. After yesterday's Tower of Terror kind of <laughs> jam beer. Beat it. Yeah, I think that's Yeah, but, and we've run out of time because we're going oh, to this lunch now. Oh, there is Black, Black Panther. Panther. They really do just pop up everywhere here at Avengers Campus. Like we were saying, if you're a Marvel fan, this is definitely the place to be. And now we've got Iron Man with his car. This is impressive. And it's time we are heading into Stark Factory, completely new place for us. I'm not sure what the food is, what we're going to be having. I think it's Italian food, but as for what we're eating specifically, I don't know. So we'll have to see. And we've just got inside already. This is very impressive. Look at this. I just realized as I'm editing this, I didn't say anything about the food. So here's a little clip. It was Italian food, pizza, pasta, and salad. It was really, really nice. And we really enjoyed everything we had. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my yeah. Wow. <laughs> we are number one for the day. Unbelievable. Everyone's giddy. <laughs> It is time for us to exit now. We are leaving Walt Disney Studios. 
on a high. Yes, at though. Massive high. Sad to be leaving, but we're on a high, basking in our victory of number one on Web Slingers for the day. Amazing. And we were with Damon and Michael, dream team. <laughs> so we're all thrilled. It's been a great way to end the trip, but we're going to head back now to the hotel, grab the luggage, and then we've got a coach to take us to uh, what's the station? Garden Paris? Garden or uh, to get our Yori stuff. Hi, everyone. We are now back from Disneyland Paris. Ooh. What yes. a whirlwind. Oh, it really was. It was amazing though. Such a good couple of days. We thought we'd just do like a little roundup and mini haul to show you guys yeah. what we bought. I didn't actually buy that much. Becky probably bought a few more things. Yeah, I me. didn't go crazy though. No, neither of us went crazy. We were quite, we didn't yeah. have a lot of time for shopping to be no. fair. No. Yeah, so we were, we were good, but we thought we'd just show you anyway. And I know you need to know what mugs Becky got because that's, we need a I only got, I got a couple, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I only got, oh, maybe like five. No, no I wasn't five. No, I wasn't five four maybe right anyway um so we'll show you what we got and then we will just do a little kind of wrap up on what we thought of the trip so do you want to go, go yes yeah. so i got this amazing spirit jersey in fact maybe some of it we can do together because yeah. i also got the spirit jersey it's just the colors in it are so beautiful it really is and on the back is disney and paris. paris so it's, it's a lovely kind of i would say a blueberry color um, and these, the, the actual kind of splodges just really pop. They're just, just such nice colours. I colors. just really liked it. So yeah. very excited about and that. And this is my first Disneyland Paris spirit jersey. Me too. I've got um, yeah. a Disneyland, California, and loads of Walt Disney World, but this is my first Paris one. So that was really good. I really wanted to get a spirit jersey and actually they didn't have very many, did they? They no, had this not one. Really. And the, oh, the 100. Um, yeah. You know, the one that's in all yeah. of the different parks, but we love this one. So it's just lovely colours. Such lovely We both colours. did go for that. I got um, one of each side of these little bags. So this yep. is the smallest one. Becky needs all the bags for completion. Big old, the big old shopping bag. Big old shopping bag. And I do use these in my day to day life. So that's. Justified. Justified. I also got one of the little yeah. ones because I, I don't buy all the sizes, but I have all of the small ones and I've now yeah. got Cruise Line. Someone sent me ones from California ages ago, so oh, we nice. like to collect the, bags. the whole thing. Yeah. Nice. Souvenir mug. You guys saw that one in the vlog, so you bought that the first I did. day. I still you? haven't used it yet. Um, oh, haven't you? No, not yet. So it's an insulated metal, metal mug. So the small mug that is probably going to be the work mug, I think. So we, yeah, we, we had a quite a lot I got of them. one too. They're just, they're just really nice, aren't they? It's a really good size. That's the design on the other side, yeah. the Mickey. So it's... And then the initial. For me, it is quite a small mug. It is. It's not that huge, but it's, but, it's decent, you know, though. I like big mugs and I cannot lie. <laughs> it's just how it is. Um, yeah, red inside. Very nice. This mug was... Uh, <laughs> this More is a gift. Mugs. This is a gift from my husband. So it's, it's Captain America, as you can see there. I do like that one. That's cool. Yeah, this was about... I want to say 15 or 17 dollars not dollars Euro. it was not dollars Euro, <laughs> which is about to be honest about the same probably as dollars, about the same, really. yeah. i was thinking about this this morning would i spend 15 pounds on a mug in the uk probably not probably not however i have to say i'm quite a clumsy person and disney mugs are so robust like, i was just they are say just that. they're built to last more so than any other mug i have one um ian almost broke it once which <laughs> <laughs> he's now been banned from because it's still at the old house he's oh, been okay. banned from touching it um that one <laughs> was in 2008 i bought it i distinctly remember which trip it was and it's still going strong yeah not broken not worn away that it's been in the dishwasher the pattern is still on there yeah. so they might be pricey but yeah. they are the good. only disney mug i've got that i've brought i'm going to touch wood here because i don't <laughs> want to break any of my precious <clears throat> babies mm -hmm. the only sort of disney fied mug that i've got that has broken was the one i got from starbucks Oh, okay. You know, that Wish You Were Here one the that wish you, you kindly gave me your Epcot one because I broke mine. Yeah. And that I wouldn't class as an actual uh, Disney legit mug. That's a Starbucks mug. Interesting. So that's the only one. All of these are just, they're just solid. I've now know? thought of another one. My At my mum and dad's house is one that I bought in 2005 from Animal Kingdom. Wow. And that one is still going strong as well. It said, it said Animal Kingdom on one side and on the other side, there's Winnie the Pooh with a magnifying glass and a tiger. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's saying, Tigger, is that you? Like Aww. looking through them, it's like yeah. really cute. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2005 and that one is still yeah they're, they're totally just going they are strong. just solid they are so i did <laughs> i did buy the bucket mug which the the bowl mug it is it is and is this big. not going to be the work one well the thing is i built a sh i built from ikea i bought a little small shelf from ikea to put on our kind of mm -hmm. like a kettle area I don't know if that's actually going to fit on the shelf because it's only quite a small shelf. Oh, well, depth-wise, it might not fit. And I think I want to have it at home. 
if anyone broke that at work, you'd be fuming. Uh, as this well, is it. So, this is it. And yeah. we have to take our mugs to the, like an office next door to wash them. Yeah. It's um, best not to have one that's like a super exactly, precious exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. So I think I'm going to stick with the small B for, yeah. for my work mug. I didn't buy this. We got this. I can't really see. I also have one of these. Let's see if we can... Uh, oh, it's not going to want to focus. Let me try and cover both our faces <laughs> and it might... No, no, it doesn't want Basically, to. Basically, it's, it's the same design as... It's got the 30. Yeah, it's kind of the 30 with the, the castle on it. Yeah. In like a gold shiny... I also have one. It was from a dinner that we had. So the dinner on the it's second plastic. night. Yeah, it's plastic. So one. that's that's. So good. we were able to um, take it and yeah. bring it without breaking it. So I have one of those too. Yeah. So that's the end of the mugs now. Um, I had to keep my little my little press. Oh yeah, I got I, my one of those. Cute. That's cool. So I bought a little magnet. Nice. That's gonna usually. If we come. Oh, there we go. There if you, you cover go. your faces, it will normally then focus so on. It's the just a, a plain magnet. This was six euros. Um, gonna go on my fridge. That's cool. Yep. Cute little Ursula. I love that. It's just. <laughs> that is very, very cute. Oh, uh, she doesn't want to. You know, hang on, let's get our face. There you Ursula's go. Ursula's face is the one here. There we go. Very cute. Kind of like a Funko Pop kind of design, yeah, I would sort of, say. Yeah. It's not Funko brand. It's not, it's not Funko brand. No, it just looks that mm. kind of thing. Um, the cool little. Becky, <laughs> Becky's. Um... My Captain Hook. Becky's boyfriend. Oh, it doesn't want to show you him. Focus. Because he's too her. lovely. He's oh, there, we go. there you go. There we go. There we go. So. Little pin there. Nice. I forget how much that was. About eleven something like euros, that. I think. Yeah. A cute little charm, which says a big thunder mountain on it. Oh, I'd forgotten about which that. Which I thought that was really cute Let's get because. Our face there there we go. Because my husband's a train driver. I just thought. Oh yeah, that is cute. I just yeah, I kind of wanted to put it. I don't know, maybe like a work bag or something, just yeah. so I can think of Disney and of him. So oh, there we that's go. Cute. Oh, yeah. I love that. Uh, and this other little bag, which is like a. Fold up shopper bag. Yeah. My mum loves these. Yeah. I feel like she's I, got like hundreds of them. I, I do. Well, I haven't got hundreds. I've got actually got the one I've got was my mum's, which I went. Oh, there you go. When, when, <laughs> when you know, after, after she unfortunately passed away and we were clearing all her stuff out, there was this really cute cat one. I thought, I, I'm going to have that. That sounds very so, yeah, her. Just like yeah. a little kind of fold away shoppy. I like the colours on it though. Yeah. That's what I love kind the, of... the colours of the 30th celebration is like the pink and yeah. the purple, the blue. It's just. Everything yeah. is. Oh, I'm going to try and fold this now. There's a new um, range coming out that I saw at the press preview, um, which is those colours. And they had a spirit jersey, they had a mug, um, some jogging bottoms, I think. And it's all kind of to do with the celebration. I don't know when it launches. Pretty soon, I think, if it hasn't already. So. Oh, oh, uh, oh! Are you there? Are you there? It wasn't inside out before. Oh. We'll figure that well, out. We'll figure there that we out are. later. And and I had to buy this popcorn and <laughs> <laughs> just show you. Uh, Let me get face it's out. basically got kind of villains there you go. all on it. So you've got um, Hades, you've got Maleficent, you've got all oh, the guy that I don't know. Who we? Who am I, I looking don't at? Don't know the guy. This 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 dude here. Oh, um, is he Doctor Facilier? <laughs> something Did, like that. My Disney knowledge, <laughs> I'm afraid, is, is but I you know, and I'm I, sure I liked something it because like it that. had Hades on this, but I'm an Ursula, obviously. Yeah. Um, I just thought it was really cool. And you were going to repurpose that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ate the popcorn. Although I ate the popcorn when I came back to the UK, which is quite nice. I was feeling really grumpy and probably just a bit Disney deflated, like you do Disney when you come back. And I was kind of trundling around and I ruffled in these bags. I was like, oh, that popcorn, that I popcorn. I love that. So I just snaffled all the popcorn and it made me feel a bit better. It's like when you find a fiver in your pocket, yeah. like finding a Disney yeah. snack you didn't know you had. That's yeah. happened to me with a Rice Krispie treat before. Oh, and I that's, was like, that's, that's super good. This was I just, that. I mean, this is, and it does have a lid, but I yeah. the lid's at home. Nice. So um, that was my, Praise for your bits. that was my haul, yeah. So mine obviously was the mug and the spirit jersey I've already shown. And then I just got a few pins. So I felt like I was really restrained. You, you were actually. Not so much at um, Disney World. I'm going to be uh, showing you in a different <laughs> video what I got there. Oh, I wish so, I'd have got that one. That is really it nice. It is really nice. Mm -hmm isn't it yeah mm -hmm. so I got a um, 30th pin I always like to have the year that I go to a park I collect the ones for the resorts that I stay in and if there's ever a special celebration or a festival like the Epcot festivals mm -hmm. and stuff or Halloween parties I like to get kind of specific mm -hmm. ones so I wanted to get a Disneyland Paris 30 and I got way, this so one let's get off this is so funny having to like <laughs> lean out focus Come show on. us the pin there, there we go, go. 
So this is the one I got and it's Mickey with the 30 and it's got like a little dangly Disneyland Paris. I really like that. And the next one I got, like I said, I like to get the year and I got this one for 2023. If I'm totally really honest, it like is it. cute. I'm not so keen on the colour palette of this. They had this in a lot of different things. And also I really, really wanted one that said Pat Disneyland Paris on it and this mm -hmm. one doesn't, but they didn't have a year that said yeah. Disneyland Paris, but it's got the Disneyland Paris castle. So I guess that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Leaning out, focus on the there pin. There we go. There it is. It is so it's got Chip and Dale with the castle and the year. I just wish it had have said um, Disneyland Paris, but okay. the other one does, so I figure that's fine. And then finally, I got the one for Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, which is where we stayed. I do really like this one. It's quite simple, but mm. I feel like that sums up the yeah. kind Chic. of aesthetic yeah. of the hotel. Definitely. So that is the Hotel New York one. And I have all of the Disney World resorts as well. So I definitely had to get that. I love that one. And the other thing that I have, Becky also has one of these. Um, I didn't wear mine on the trip, but I probably will at some point. They gave us this as a little gift. So we both have one of these hats. It was super cold when we were there. It was. And um, you actually wore yours. Yeah, it in actually Paris. was very warm. Actually. Yeah, they are. How cute is that though? Yeah. I love that. So if I do ever do any wintry trips again, I'll probably wear that, but that was something that was gifted to us. And that's everything we got on the trip. So like I said, we didn't buy too much because no. we didn't have a lot of shopping time, no. but I'm glad we got a few bits and the pins that I really like to get. But we really enjoyed the trip, didn't we? It, was, it yeah. was really good. I yeah. feel really privileged. So thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, no, and thank I, you to Disney for inviting us. It was amazing. It was, it was such a, a great weekend like yeah the way that everyone kind of gelled together yeah and our you know no spoilers amazing win on the older web yes. slingers thing well we you just, have seen that now it was so. just it was just yeah. the perfect little cherry on top wasn't it and it, i've just right at the end yeah, yeah i just when i got home i kind of like oh i want to hang out with all those guys again yeah and we had just, such it good was fun. really great yeah we really did and we've obviously only done paris twice and it was the exact same time of mm. year both times mm. thankfully it wasn't as cold this time we were just better prepared i think yeah. like you know i thought that just a normal little wintery coat would be okay it turns out i mean it probably it probably would have been had it not been minus yeah. three and it was it was crazy cold last time like yeah. unusually cold this time wasn't as bad we had like no. snow and all sorts last yeah. time so that was nice and obviously we were with a group but we had a lot of time that we could do our own thing and yeah. then we had some activities that we did with everybody and i feel like we just experienced everything in a short space of time so we did do long days um we were very very thankful to have the premier access yeah. as well that was yeah. gifted to us we yeah. talked about that in the video you can pay for that and i think we talked about the prices because we looked it up but it was great having that mm. the thing with this trip we were doing some press stuff as well and some filming like i say and things with the group so on another occasion we probably would have done a lot more of the rides but i was so glad we got to do phantom manor and <laughs> so um, good. crushes coaster so good. i mean that was great but blimey i was just <laughs> I just thought it was going to be like, I mean, it's my own stupid fault for not researching it properly. I mean, who can I blame but myself? I sort of knew what it was. I just did not expect yeah. the intensity of it, but yeah. it was so it fun. Was, it was a great ride. Yeah. It was a great ride. I would do it again now being armed with the knowledge of what it's going to do. Yeah. And we did um, web slingers as well. We tried to do the stuff we hadn't done yeah. last time. And to be honest, the thing that just completely blew me away on this trip were the parades and the nighttime shows that drone oh, show i can't it was so I good can't. i was saying to becky i love the nighttime shows at disney world i love the fireworks harmonious and all that kind of stuff but i would say the paris nighttime shows are next level the ones that we saw yeah were yeah just, i'd have to agree yeah and did, i i love i love it oh I, me too i, I yeah. love it fireworks my favorite i think but this was like a, a step up yeah unbelievable. The, the videos just really don't do it justice when you're actually there and you can see the kind of 3d aspects of these drones moving oh, around you just, just i would i'm surprised i didn't have jewelry from like yeah it was amazing, like that you know it, it was, was just so good it was amazing and i think um i would say if anyone's thinking about doing a paris trip i would do it get in now for, oh my goodness that. get in now um they're doing the drone show and um, the marvel power the night drone show until may now whether or not that gets extended I, don't I really know. hope so because I, I hope I'd love to see it more than once in my yeah. life. I would imagine the reason they've put it at May at the moment is they they need to really properly test it. How does mm, it work? Mm. How often does it get called off due to weather? Yeah. So I think mm. they're just testing it because it's new. Um, but definitely try and go and see it because it is so just, good. Just flabbergasting. Incredible. The, yeah. the the skill and so good. Oh, it's just it's just great. Yeah. 
and the ones in the Disneyland Park as well. That was amazing too. The D, D Light, I think it's called, like the little pre um, kind the of show before thing. the fireworks. Mm. Yeah. That was just stunning. The music is amazing. Yeah. It looked like the castle was like glittery. And you've got drones involved in that as well. I yeah. loved that. Yeah. That was yeah. just great. And I, I have been amazing. singing the two. Oh, yeah. The music. <laughs> so on my kind of, on like a, a Spotify playlisty thing, I've got um, Un Monde Kissy Louis. And. What's the other one called? Ride the... Let me just play you a second of it. So this is the song we're talking about. I now know all the lyrics. So that, I promise you, if you go to Disneyland Paris, you hear it so you will never get out of your head, nor will you want to, because it's a great song. It is, it is brilliant. And this one as well. <laughs> Just, it just fills you with all the. All it's the... just yeah, it's so good. I do think their their parade music, their um, show music, the actual shows themselves, the drones, everything is next level. So if you go to Disneyland Paris just for the nighttime shows, if you're someone who can't spend all day in the parks, I would actually say make sure you go later in the day so yeah. that you can be there. Don't miss one hundred. Do don't not miss, miss the evening. Do not miss yeah. it. Sometimes at Disney World, because I've been so many times, I will leave the park early and not see the fireworks. But if you go to Disneyland Paris, that is the for me, the thing that makes it totally mm. worth it. So mm. make sure you see the nighttime shows. I'll put a link in the description for you to book your Disneyland Paris trip. Um, there's lots of different options of places to stay. It's a little bit like Disney World. Mm. You've got like value, deluxe, all kinds of different options that you can do. Um, but with booking Disneyland Paris, normally the ticket is included yes. in like the package. Yeah. So I, you see the price. I would, I'm normally quite a stingy, skin flinty kind of, if I like the idea of spending spending money on like Genie Plus, it's like oh I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> but I would definitely get the premier uh, this queue jumping yeah. ticket if you can. Yeah, if you're going good. in sort of like January time, perhaps maybe you can get away without having it. Yeah, but if it was any busier and it wasn't we were there, I would. I think because. Because you're there for two days, mm. you really want to cram it in. It depends how long you're going for. Yeah. And um, like Becky said, yeah. if your budget will stretch to it, you don't yeah. need it. Like no, if you go to the no. parks early or late at night, yeah. things often happen. So you can definitely do everything yeah. without it. But if your budget will stretch to it, um, it was great to have that. We just had an amazing time. Yeah. We really, really did. And yeah. I feel like I enjoyed it loads more this time yeah. with those additional shows yeah, and I everything so. they've got going for the 30th. And, and just knowing what is there, I think. Yeah, we were totally new to it last yeah. time. That was our first. Yeah. Time, so I, I liked Hotel time. Cheyenne. This isn't to sort of detract from how nice that hotel is, but mm. Hotel New Art, Art of Marvel. Oh, just, the Marvel Hotel was. I mean, it was just so beautiful. So nice. And they yeah. also, the other one that I really like the look of, and we haven't stayed there yet, is Sequoia Lodge. Yeah, that's that, another that, one. Yeah, I yeah did like we the look of that. loved the look of that. Yeah. We went there just for a warming, bit of a warming purposes. Sit down, sit down um, the first time we were there yeah. and loved that as well. So you can kind of compare all the resorts mm. if you do a search for the dates you're looking for. And actually, on the Disneyland Paris site, they give you um, like flexible dates. You can click if yeah. it's flexible and they'll tell you if maybe like a couple of days later there's a different price it might be a bit mm. cheaper so mm. I find that quite good yeah. when you're searching on yeah. there so I'll link all of that below and just a huge thank you to you guys for yeah. coming along on this trip with us and experiencing the vlogs it's been great doing a trip with Becky oh, again it's been a minute it since has we... been a little while hasn't yeah, it? yeah it's been a little yeah, while so but, um we, we loved it. It was it so did. good. It was brilliant. It was amazing. It was brilliant. And I've just been to Disney World. I've literally just got back from that trip and those vlogs will be going up as soon as this is finished. So this one will happen. There may then be my haul video for Disney World, possibly in between, and then the vlogs will start or it might go right into the vlogs. I haven't decided yet. Um, but if you are excited for Disney World vlogs, please do give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell icon and then you'll be notified when that first travel day goes up. It's gonna be travel day and Magic Kingdom in one for the first Disney World vlog. So Don't forget there is a new special guest in this one. Yes, it's yes. not me. <laughs> yes, there's a new special guest. I went with um, Catherine, who also has a vlog channel. I'll link all of her stuff in the Disney World vlogs. But we had an amazing time. We were there for Festival of the Arts at Epcot and it was great it was a really really good trip so be sure to subscribe and um look out for those coming up really soon but that's going to be it from us for this yeah. one and hopefully you will see becky again popping up at some point she always does let's hope so. when it's least expected well, suddenly got, she's there. I, I can't imagine it'll be this year because you're going you, with your mum in may and you've got a trip in september, and i've got a trip in september with my husband and hopefully his mum too yeah. but, but after that after? 
Who knows? Who knows? And we do have Munich as well. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're that's gonna be going cool. to the D one hundred exhibition, the Disney exhibition that's touring all of this year. Um, in Munich in mm -hmm. April so Becky will be in those vlogs and those vlogs yeah. will be on this channel so you will be back yeah, this year about that. Yeah. <laughs> so that will be happening as well so thank you to all of you as always for watching liking commenting subscribing supporting in every way that you do it really really does mean so much and it means that I can continue to share these vlogs with you all I hope you're all well and having a great day and we'll see you soon bye, bye.